Welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. You can see here that we're working on the engine of the Renault R23. I start by getting the mixture of semi-gloss black and steel paint that I used to simulate um, carbon fibre in the last building video. And I'm starting to work on the um, snorkel, which is part of the air intake. After finishing on that, I move on to doing the top of the engine block in aluminium. I'm painting on the sprue here so that I don't have to hold the items and any chipped paint at the end I will touch up. Now I'm using a wider brush to do the halves of the engine casing. The detail here does not have to be that exact as um, after the engine is completed, uh, the bodywork will be sealed and you won't be able to see much of it at all. However, it's nice to see what it looks like. And it's certainly more detailed than some of the other Revell Formula One engines that I've worked on. I primed all of these pieces in advance, which has certainly made painting them a lot easier. Here you can see I'm focusing in on painting the carbon fibre strip where the Renault branding would go. There are no decals to go on the engine in this set, however there are in many of the other Revell Formula One sets. I'm using my clippers to remove these parts. I'm using Revell Aqua Paint here, which dries very quickly, meaning that you can move on. I'm also scratching off a bit of paint that's got into the wrong places with a spare bit of sprue, but you could easily use a toothpick or a craft knife. Here I'm cutting off some of the extra sprue with craft knife. It's important to test fit these before putting them together. Here I'm using Revell Contactor Professional. Hold it together for a few seconds to make sure the fit is good. After gluing it together, I'm just going over some of the places where I may have missed. Remember to paint always in the same direction when you're doing this carbon fibre simulation to simulate the weave. When the snorkel fits into the air intake, you will actually see the top of it, so it's important to paint the inside of it as well. When I started building this, I looked up some images of the Renault V10 engine from the early 2000s, and it was really interesting to see how the details differed. Some of the instructions of what to paint with the carbon fibre coloured paint uh, weren't exactly the same. Like I said before, it's important to get the fit here good because it fits very snugly within the uh, bodywork of the car. Now I'm working on the exhausts. You can't see them here, but I used the drill just to open up the ends of the exhausts, as you will see the tips of them poking out through the bodywork. I then filled those holes with a little bit of semi-gloss black just to make them look a little bit more realistic. Now I'm working on painting the flat floor. I'm using the same carbon fibre simulation paint and the same broad brush. Always painting in the same direction. After finishing off the carbon fibre, I add a little bit of silver to the inside and then add the radiators. I test fit the engine just to make sure that it goes in the right place. 
I will complete the skid block in ochre later on. I then masked around the air intake on the body and painted it in night blue. The car came with decals for this, but I didn't like the look of them. I then masked around the exhaust covers and painted them in the semi-gloss black mixture that I'd made before. I'll just leave you with a couple of pictures now. Please like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.